girl what's up and welcome back to my channel my name is Christina if you're new here thank you so much for tuning in to today's video I know you're thinking it something looks a little bit different and off well <laughs> I can tell you right now that it is my eyebrows my eyebrows are red if you didn't catch that when you first seen me but um, honestly I just wanted to have a little bit of fun today I just put this sweater on and I was just like you know what today I'm gonna have red burgundy brows and the whole look was just kind of inspired from that so if you want to see how i created this then keep on watching so i decided to actually do one of my brows on camera since i am doing it in a different color it's not necessarily like i'm not using a different technique i've been doing my eyebrows the same for like the past several years so i literally have a video up on my channel of how i do my eyebrows but i'm just going to show you for the sake of me using a different color i don't know i thought it'd be fun to show you how i did the color brow Okay, so just like I would always do, I'm going to start with just brushing through my brows. I don't need to trim them. Well, I kind of actually do need to thread them, but it's November, so I'm going to try and do this no shave November thing. I'm definitely going to do my mustache because that's like a no for me, but my eyebrows, I'm going to try not to thread them. So I'm going to see. We'll see how long I could go, but I don't know. I usually would start in the front, so I'm going to do the same thing, just start in the front and I'm so sorry about my fridge I are going to be able to hear it okay and then I'm just going to go through and do the top And then with the spoolie again, I'm just going to kind of comb through the front, diffuse it a little bit, that way it's not so harsh, as well as the rest of the brow. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm legit excited that Halloween is over. <laughs> it was a really busy month for me, and I think that I just tried to do way more than I could. So it just got really overwhelming at times and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so ready for this to be over. I'm ready for Thanksgiving. I'm ready for Christmas. I'm ready for my birthday. So yeah, I'm so relieved that Halloween is over with. I'm sorry, I didn't even tell y'all what I was using. NYX Lip Liner. And it's in the shade Brick House. I'm going to take a wipey just because this is a lip pencil. It's a little bit more creamy. So if I try to go in with concealer, it's probably just going to mix and create this like, you know, red, reddish pinky concealer that I don't want because it's not going to look flattering at all <laughs> right up underneath my eyebrow. So I'm just cleaning it first with a wipey or makeup remover wipe, whatever you have. And then now I'm just going to clean it up with some Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Light Medium. I have to turn my fridge off because I cannot do that noise, especially when I'm editing. I'm like, oh, hell no. So this is pretty much how I do my eyebrows. Now, my eyebrows are not like identical. Because of my scar, this eyebrow tends to like be a little bit more straight and this one is a little bit more round. So, yeah, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. And it took me a long time to, like, actually accept that for the longest time. I would literally try to make my eyebrows as perfect as I could. That's why it took me, like, 45 minutes to an hour to do my damn brows. 
which is absurd. So moving down to the eyes, I did want to keep this a quick and cute look. Starting with my Magic Palette, I'm going to take this shade right here. Picking that up on an Anastasia A6 brush, I'm first just going to tap this. First color that we're laying down is a little bit more orange, which you're going to see at the end. We're going to build it up to be a nice red. If I were to go right in with a red or a maroon shade on a wet sticky concealer base it usually tends to like be pinkish for me so I don't know if that's just me or if that's everyone but that's why I have learned to go in with the more orangey tone first and then just build it up with the red tones because I don't know I guess the concealer mixes with the eyeshadow and creates a nice pink which is not what I want. I want to make sure that the look stays nice and red and really maroon. Just want to stay in the reds. I don't want any pink or fuchsia or anything like that. For some reason, I have been like struggling to eat healthy. Not really struggling. Like this whole week, I've been, you know, just eating what I've been wanting to eat. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's going to be so hard to go back to eating healthy because I've just been living my best life eating whatever I want. <laughs> now I'm just going in with a more dense brush to just blend everything out. This is a Morphe S11. See, this is why I love this brush. I feel like it just helps get really seamless edges. Now from the Masquerade palette, I'm gonna be taking this shade right here and I am still using the same brush. Now I'm going to be taking my Morphe 39A palette and I'll be picking up this maroon shade right there. So now I'm going to be taking this shade right here. This shade is called Insomnia and it's from the Makeup Geek and Manium UA palette. I'm actually just going to take that on my finger like this and just kind of start to Put that all over my lid. I was gonna also do a red, but I was like, eh. Taking that same brush, I'm just gonna kind of blend everything into each other. So now, moving on to our face, I'm going to go ahead and add some Neutrogena Serum. This is the Hydro Boost Hydrating Serum. Serum, And then I'm going to go ahead and also moisturize with this moisturizer, Cores, Cores, however you wish to pronounce that. I'm going to go ahead and apply those two things on my face. All right, moisturizer on. Now we're gonna go in with foundation. I've been using the Maybelline Fit Me. I think in my last video, one of my last videos, I said the Matte and Poreless. I don't know what I have this matte and poreless. Oh, it is matte and poreless, like right there. Ha 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 ha. Never mind then. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this Maybelline Fit Me. I'm currently in the shade 228. I have not been able to clear my skin up. I don't know what is going on. It is making me mad because I feel like it's the winter time. I really shouldn't be having this kinds of this kind of problem. 
you know my skin usually is a little bit drier but i don't normally like have breakouts in the winter so it's just kind of weird i'm like what the fudge is going on and my most favorite way to blend this foundation in is with this morphe brush this is the y7 is it y7 yeah this is a y7 from morphe My lips are so chat. I have a serious problem biting my lips, you guys. It's not even funny. And then to contour, I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the shade Beautiful Bronze. And then I do also like to run this down the bridge of my nose. to clean all my brushes like super duper good because of Halloween and everything and like you know all the makeup that I had been doing <laughs> there's like glitter on all of my brushes What are your guys' like favorite Thanksgiving foods? One of my probably favorite things to eat on Thanksgiving, let me see. Well, besides the desserts, I'm a dessert person, y'all. Like, I love me some sweets. Anything on the desserts table is like <laughs> classified as my favorite. But I really love, um, aside from the desserts, let's do the food. I think my favorite thing to eat would probably be sweet potato casserole, which some people will probably eat that as a dessert i've had it as both like with my food and with the dessert it's so 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 good um but again it is sweet <laughs> so another thing that i like to eat let's see i like stuffing too oh it honestly just depends on who is making the stuffing in my family <laughs> I did quickly go ahead and put blush and highlight on off of camera. I'm just going to finish on my under eyes really quick. I'm just taking that same S12 brush that I was using. I didn't pick up any extra product or anything. And I'm just going to run it underneath my eyes. See, this is what I mean by, you see how this is a little bit more pink and this is red? Like, I just, I don't get why it does that. I think we do have to use a little bit of that very first orangey shade just to kind of get it a little bit more ready-ish, reddish. Because this is too like fuchsia purple for me. Not digging that at all. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to set my face, but I'm actually using just like my own little concoction. So in here I have a little bit of water and then I put some of these little Farsali unicorn drops. And I've actually been loving this. I've been using this. I ran out, when was it? The last time that I did makeup, so like last Saturday, I ran out and I have been using this. And I have to say, I actually like it. It gives me like a really like glowing I do see that it makes me a little bit more oily around my nose, but I honestly don't mind that because I can just touch that up and it still gives me a really beautiful like overall glow to the rest of my face, so I really like it. I do plan on getting a new setting spray, but just for the meantime, I'm using this one because I don't have any. Okay, so I'm gonna be right back with lashes and then guess what? We're actually gonna wear a lip today. Oh my God. We are back, you guys. I'm actually really feeling my eyebrows. Like, I really like them. <laughs> I don't know, it could be just me. So the lashes that I'm wearing are from Kiss. They're the style 01, I guess. These are like TBT lashes. 
I use those on like my clients or well, on some of my clients. Usually most of my clients aren't like used to wearing the big lashes like the 3D Mist Lash. I give my clients an option. It's either the 3D Mist Lash or these Kiss ones because some people don't like how thick the 3D Mist Lashes are and they're like really heavy. If you don't wear lashes like on an everyday, every other day basis, if you just wear them, you know, like once every blue moon, you're going to feel like they're way too heavy. So anyways... I used to use those in high school and man, putting them on was so weird because the lash band is so, 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 so thin. It's so easy to put them on other people, but I guess because I'm used to a thicker band, I was like, girl, what is going on? So it took me a while to get them on, but we're here. We got them on and now we're going to go into the lips. So for the lips, I'm actually going to use the same exact lip pencil that I used for my eyebrows. I actually just went ahead and put it on my whole entire lips. I do have a red lipstick, but this is a little bit more bright red, and I want to stay with like a deeper red. I'm actually thinking about tapping a shadow over this because this isn't as maroon as I would want it to be. Yeah, that's what I want. All right, you guys, here is my final look. I have to say I'm feeling like almost Poison Ivy vibes. I think it's the eyebrows, <laughs> but I'm feeling like really vampy. You guys think, are you also getting like vampy vibes? That's what I'm getting from this. Just a whole lot of vamp. I wish that I could have gone with a darker maroon on the eyes, but I honestly think just the first shadow that I used from the Magic palette, let me see, this shadow right here, the Zakia one, um, that was really gritty and grainy and it kind of made it really hard for my overall eye look. So I'm going to have to try this eye look again with deeper, like, um, deeper tones of red, like deeper maroons because I don't really like, the only thing that I don't like about this look is how bright the red is. I wanted it to be like a darker color, but I just didn't get there. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but... I overall really enjoy this look. It's something new for me, something that I never done all the way from the brows to the lip. Honestly guys, I like the brows because instead of me dyeing like my hair and giving me a different look, like my eyebrows, just this, I feel like just a simple change in my eyebrows is giving me a different look. I don't know, am I wrong? I feel like I'm not wrong. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to turn on the notification bell so you never miss a slate with me. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.